scoop! Repair and recharge these... What up, brothers and sisters, and welcome to MTG Malone with me, Matches Malone. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. I hope you're having a perfect freaking day. I mean, hey, it is Sunday after all, so it should be a nice day. So yeah, we're still on our way to 17k. We're super darn close, like we're 50 people away from the 17, uh, from the 16,600. So it's a, hey, I can smell it already, you know, and maybe until the end of January we can do it. And I will repeat once more here, if we can do it until the end of the year, there will be a gigantic giveaway that I will be doing. So, if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I will repeat that now for the next nine days. And the last 10 days, I will not even be freaking here. I will be pre-recording a lot of stuff, at least I think. Also, I cut my mustache, how do you like that? But enough with the yammering. Let's get into the, oh, the horror hammering. I decided to be evil today, man, and play the most evil freaking deck there is. Grixis Mishra. Oh, it is so freaking nice. This deck just has everything. Just freaking everything. We have removal with the cutdown and the infernal grasp. We have counter spells. We have card draw here. We have freaking card draw here. We have card selection here. And we can even exile creatures from our opponent's graveyard. You know, everything is just amazing. And if we use the fable of the mirror breaker and then, you know, have the reflection and we copy the corpse appraiser, we can exile even freaking more. But we don't really care about that. What we want to do is to get in, you know, deal just little bits of damage with our Sheldred, our freaking Blood Tide Harvester, our Reckoner Bank Buster, then play our Mishra and just attack in. That is all we want to do, because then we drain them. Then we drain them for as many creatures as we attack in. So they lose X life, we gain X life. We attack with five creatures. That is five life swing. Beautiful. Just freaking beautiful my friends and there's so many ways to just make this so awesome also we can melt this you know together with the Phyrexian dragon engine that means that we will have a mishra that chooses three when it enters or attacks so we destroy uh we deal three damage to any target they have to discard two cards we destroy an artifact of planeswalkers creatures we control get menace and trample creatures we don't control get minus one minus one and we get two power stones the two power stones are not that important we don't really care about that but dealing three is very darn freaking good and giving menace to our creatures and trample even freaking a better. So yeah, that is what we're going to do. The Phyrexian Dragon Engine is a nice little blocker, but also once it's dead and you have no more cards in hand, you can just play it for five, draw three more cards, attack in with Mishra and the Dragon Engine, chabwam! Your opponents will be very, very sad. We have the Sheldred because we're up against Mono Red a lot, so we need the life gain uh, for just drawing cards, which we do here, which we do here, which we could do with the Blood Tokens, and we do here if we're freaking playing the Phyrexian Dragon Engine. And also, Blood Coil freaking a Serpente. This snake is just insanity. In the late game, you know, your opponent wipes the board, they only have like six life left, now you swing in with the snake, bam! It has trample and haste for one turn, which is amazing, even if they do have some creatures on the battlefield. If they have like one or two and you can get through with the snake, that is just good. And we have all the colors in here, so we can draw cards for two blue, we can make them discard for two black, and we can give it haste and trample for two red. Everything is freaking good in here! So, that is all there is to. There is not too much to think about. Why do we have the burn down the house? Well, because of the devils. Getting three... <laughs> I'm sorry. Getting three um, freaking creatures to attack in with that will deal at least three damage just by being blocked is already good enough. But if you have the Mishra and you attack with these three devils, oh, you're so freaking happy, my friends. I, for a certain moment in time, thought that this could, like, you know, exile any card from a graveyard but it can only exile creatures, so keep that in mind, because I made a mistake there. Land-wise, we have all of these beautiful lands. That is it. The deck is just simply amazing. If you go turn two, Reckoner Bank Buster, you know, turn one, you cut something down. Turn two, you go Reckoner Bank Buster. Turn three, you go Kelp's Appraisal. Now you steal out of their graveyard whatever they had, and you're attacking with Reckoner Bank Buster. That is just so much pain for your opponent. And as I said, you can always copy this, you can copy this, you can copy whatever. Even the snake can be freaking copied. 
It doesn't help you too much, because you know it doesn't have trample, but it will have haste anyways. And a 5 for a trampling, uh, 5 for a hasty snake is still pretty darn brutal, man. Just look at this thing. Just imagine, you're waking up in the morning and that thing is just staring down on you. Disgusting. So, the plan is pretty easy. Just be the most annoying and best deck there is in the meta right now. I promise you, there ain't a better deck. There just ain't. You can have unlucky, you can be unlucky and, uh, you know, get beaten, but, you know, usually it doesn't happen. Usually, you just have all the freaking answers in your hand all the freaking time. So thank you all so very freaking much. This is, oh no, the horror. I'm Max Malone, and I will see you in no Serpentine Games. I was up way too long yesterday building paper robots that you can see on Twitter. Or you can, uh, you know, go to my, um, ooh, this hand is perfect. Or you can go to um, my Discord and check it out there. I posted a picture. Okay, we do have all the colors. We do have everything. I'm very darn happy here. I will keep up my Infernal Grasp. We're up against Mono Black, eh? Well, in that case, let's just bring down the Reckoner Bankbuster. And chill. I mean, they will be playing something very soon. Their own Reckoner Bankbuster. Okay, so it's Bank Buster on Bank Buster Violence. Of course, Appraiser here is not needed right now. We will just cut down whatever they have, you know? Maybe they're even using it here? Oh, Mono Black. In the first game, it is the new Boros. It really is the new Boros. Remember when there was a time where we always, like, fought Boros in the first freaking game? Yeah, now we're here. Now we're freaking here. Doing the same, but, you know... With uh, Mono Black. Alright, the crewing it. We got rid of that. Now we're getting rid of this here. Okay, they did not draw a card for it. Perfect. And now we can Corpse Appraiser their stupid little freaking tenacious underdog here. Um, let's do it like this so that I don't have to spend a life. Would be good. Goodbye, tenacious underdog. Goodbye. Um, as we do have another shot. Nah, I'm still going to make this appear here. Uh, with the Sheldred. Because if they can destroy the Sheldred, we're very sad. So let's not provoke that. Shall we? Shall we? So, very nice. I like it. There was a nice chain of events that I'm very happy about. Getting rid of two of their creatures and freaking... Uh, my lamp almost fell over because I moved too hard. Oh, they have another one. Okay, no worries. No worries at all. I don't mind. For now. Especially like this, you know? Let's cut this down. See what they're doing. Maybe they're afraid here, you know? Maybe they are. Yup, they are afraid. Okay, well, we're crewing this then. Resolve. Bringing down the Shelly. If they do have another, you know, removal, they better use it on the Shelly. But we're being the aggressors here. I mean, hey, we don't have a Mishra right now, but who needs a Mishra if you have a Ragnar Bankbuster? Just busting that bank. Busting it real good. So, uh, invoke despair. Yep. All right. But we do have another Shelly, so we just have to hope that they don't have another invoke despair. That is all I'm hoping for. And I'm still slamming in there like there is no tomorrow. And I will keep this land to draw a card. So, they're going down to four here. Freaking four. And that is already pretty darn good. If they did draw a removal, they better use it right away. Right freaking away. Do you have it? Do you have it? Do you have another removal? Or are you utterly dead, though? So, oh, they do have another removal. In form of freaking Liliana here. Good, all right. That is still fine, as long as we don't draw it in another land, you know? Oh, that is not fine at all. That is not fine at all. Oh man. Okay, where is our blood card serpent? It's another land. It's just another freaking land. Okay. All right. Game. Terrible. All right, I gotcha. I gotcha. I was about to win, and then this. All right. So, is there two creatures in here? There is two creatures in here. We still have the blood uh, blade called serpent that we can use to slam in there. They're going back to seven. This coiled serpent will be on. Seven. Nope, it won't, because Don't. we will lose this land. All right. Maybe we do draw another land. 
Oh, they're doing this. Very good. Very darn good. So if they don't have, like, a very good removal, if they go for the throat players, we still win. With the serpent, man. With the serpent. So we will see. They go into five. They're slamming in. No worries at all. If they're only a go for the throat player, we're good. We're freaking good. So are you? Are you my friend? A only go for the throat player? Another land. Are you kidding me, man? Are you freaking kidding me? Okay. So all we've got to do... So we're paying a red here and a red here. The rest is black, man. One black, two black, three black. Well, and this. They still have to discard a card, is all I'm saying. <laughs> I could have also drawn a card here, but it doesn't really matter. All that matters is that we win, man. All that matters is that we're slamming in here and hopefully win the game. If they do have something, well, it's just what it is. But it looks like they're a little bit salty here. Just slightly salty. Just slightly freaking salty. Okay, do you have the non go for the throat removal? This right now is the discard step. So, they're not looking at their card to react. They're just freaking dead, oh my friend! Oh! I mean, the only thing they could have, the only thing, would cost them two freaking mana, and uh, two freaking life, and then I crew the car, and then they're dead. Anyways, do you have it? Do you have it? Do you freaking have it? They don't have it! Oh! Trying to defeat the man from Mono Black with Mono Black Game! Out of here, man! You can try and step into my house, but I will kindly, very kindly, ask you what to take off your shoes! Because all you gotta see is the feet! I am the cream of the crop! I almost forgot to record here. We're up against uh, Demir. Let us see if they do have anything. They do have something here. They're cut down. Right? Yeah. Never not have it. But losing the Dragon Engine is not the worst part. Because once we get our Mishra down, we're happy, you know? Happy like a clown, Charlie Brown. They don't have anything. I love it. I really do love it. So, they have another cut down. All right. <laughs> ridiculous game. Just ridiculous. Here's the Kaito. All right. Kaito does not concern me too much, to be honest. And they're digging for lands. Yeah, all right. So I don't think that we need these removal cards. All we need is to get down our Mishra as soon as freaking possible. Another dragon engine, eh? I would still be digging for a land here. Ooh. That is nice. I love that. So, now we still have to make this appear open. Uh, we still have the, um, you know, the little boy here that we can attack in with. They don't have anything, and we're good. As long as we can protect our Mishra, we're happy, you know? We're freaking happy. Our eyes are everywhere. Alrighty. So I want this dragon engine in my graveyard, honestly. Blade Coiled Serpent now. Well, first things first, we are attacking their stupid Kaito. Right in the face. Alright, block it, my friend. I hope it was worth it. Are we bringing down the Serpent? Or are we trying with the Mishra? We're trying with the Mishra. If we can get the Mishra, we're happy, you know? Let's, let's counter this. Let's counter the Obscura Interceptor. What the living heck, man. So we will see if they need like some very specific cards here to uh, get rid of this. I don't think they have removal, otherwise they would have used it already, you know? That is just like my two cents on the issue. And uh, we will be getting the Dragon Engine down next turn, so that is also very nice. And then we got him. And then we freaking got him. Hopefully, hopefully we got him. They could also have a board wipe now. Could just have it. You never freaking knew. You never freaking knew. We could also just go with the Blade Cold Serpent here. And I think that that is also a good call. Be 
before we use the other one, you know? Uh, we're not using anything. Confirm zero. Um, let's see here. Black, black. Another black and another black is alright. I wanted to discard as many cards as they can. And this now. So, there's your choice, my friend. There is a ya choice, my friend. I will be attacking you with a lot of things here. A lot of things. Because I can also make like a reflection of Kikijiki twice. Well, I will do it once. Just once. <laughs> yeah. So, Sup? What's up? Are you doing anything here? Are you scared? They are scared, man! Oh, good thing I did not forget to record the game. I was so close of forgetting it, man. And the first thing I said well, before I realized that I forgot to record the game was, oh, it's another mono black. It is another mono black. What is up with this, by the way? Why is this, like, so weird to me today? Why are you weird to me? How dare you, Lamp? I love Lamp. Get out of here! I loved that game, especially me remembering to record it was the best part about it. The dog is here with me, do you want to come up? No? No, he doesn't want to come up. He hates me. Alright, this hand is terribly good. Terribly good. We're up against Mono Red, eh? Alright, Mishra likes this. Mishra likes your Mono Red. They did not do anything turn one, that is already good enough for me. Good freaking enough for me. Two corpse appraisers. Ooh. Beautiful. Oh, you want to get under the blanket? I have to take care of the dog real quick. Oh, you want to go under the blanket, little dog? Go under the blanket. I hope people don't see my booty. Did you see my booty? <laughs> they do see my booty. All right. I mean, we're blocking this one bajillion percento. Uh, so that we can, you know, reckon her bank buster. Oh, they will be getting the squee, I think. Yash, why shouldn't they? We have another corpse appraiser? That's disgusting. <laughs> That's disgusting. In all honesty, that is pretty much disgusting. So what can we get here? Uh, the cutdown is pretty nice, not gonna lie. So, they will be taking it with a professional facebreaker here. And that's still okay. All we've got to do is to find one land. We can cut down the squee, you know. I mean, if they're attacking with it, I will just block it. Like, there's literally no reason not to. Um, even if they, like, you know, shoot it then or whatever, that is still fine. Okay, alrighty, create your treasure. Do you have a gold hound? This deck is so weird. What is going on, man? What is even going on? So we're cutting down the squee. Right away. Right away. Not even waiting one single second. Because I really need to get rid of that squeal. Yes, I'm taking some damage here. But with the Mishra next turn, I can get it all back. Because they cannot be... That is it, Mono Red! Forged, my friend! I will gobble you up! Like you were some soup made out of red... I forgot the word. Beats! Beats! And that is just what you get. One beating after another. Until you're forged. Get out of here! The best! Hey Quaza, how you doing? <laughs> we're going first! As long as we do find one land, we're good! Seems to be the theme of the day! The theme of the day! As long as we find one land, we're good! But we're going first already! We do have a Blood Tide Harvester! We're up against a Mono Black deck, like you know! Typical Edgelord Mono Black Sleeves! <laughs> but hey, in all honesty, this artwork by Dominic Meyer, freaking amazing! Fellow German! Hey Dominic, maybe one day, you and I, you know, you can draw me like one of your French girls. Or German girls, I mean you're German after all. So, it's Demir for you now. I knew it! Edgelord, freaking Edgelord. But here comes a Reckoner Bank Buster. So that we can attack in with that next turn. And we will see! Like, we can just cut stuff down, you know? Okay, yeah, just do that. Freaking do that. I don't mind. Can be a discard deck. That's totally fine. Are you really going with the Blood Tide Harvester? You shouldn't, my friend. You really freaking shouldn't. Oh my! Okay, interesting. 
I will be going with the Blood Tide Harvester, though. And then I will be slamming it. Cancel. <laughs> I pushed the wrong artifact. That was not the artifact that I wanted to push. And we're slamming in there. So even if they do have the Liliana now, getting rid of my own Blood Tide Harvester does not concern me in the slightest. They know my hand. I don't know theirs. It's a slight advantage. But is it really the biggest advantage? I don't know. So, they did this. What else are you doing though? That's despicable, man. That is just despicable. How dare you? How dare you? Okay. I mean, it. we're still kind of fine, you know? And we're chilling. We can now make this appear. We can still draw a card, you know? Despicable. Are you doing anything? No, you're afraid of my counter spell, eh? Rightfully so. The cut down. Does not help me too much here right now. Another corpse appraiser, but there's no more creatures in here, right? No, there ain't. So we're chilling. We have nothing to do here. We're on three lands. That is all we have. I mean, they know about my counter spell. They know about my uh, infernal grasp. They know about everything. Everything. And the question is, how do they want to go on about that? <laughs> Seriously. Like, the discard up until now was annoying, but still, like, not the end of the world annoying, you know? Alright. You know what? We're not even doing that. We're getting rid of it. Drawing a land here, hopefully? Because we're, like, very deep already and did not draw land. Very good. Thank you, game. Appreciate it. So, we still have the Infernal Grasp here. We still have to make this appear. We have the cut down. We do have it all. If we draw another land here, I will be very darn happy. So, what have you gotten here? A Sheldred? Whatever? You know? I'm good. I'm freaking good. Painful. I mean, you know I have a counter spell, don't you? You know I do have it. So, I'm very confused at why you did this. Very darn much so. Alright, let's try to find another counter spell here. Getting rid of our own Blood Tide Harvester before they can even do it. Ooh, the Phyrexian Dragon Engine is nice. Not gonna lie. Not gonna freaking lie. And we're chilling. There's literally no reason to do anything here. But getting rid of the Painful Quandary was already pretty darn good. Pretty good. Not gonna lie. So what else have we gotten here? The Phyrexian Flash Gorger. Will I pay 9 life to get rid of this? Yes. <laughs> yes, I will. <laughs> There's literally no reason not to. Resolve. Take action. Because we can play the Sheldred here, you know. And still have another Sheldred open. Beautiful. Freaking beautiful. So we're slamming in there for seven now. They're down to one singular card. One singular freaking card. And uh, yeah, down to seven life. So, the beatdown of the century is still going on, my friend. Still going on. Destroy it. Please do so, my friend. You're still freaking a dead zone. Boom! Oh, trying to defeat the master of mono black with mono black. You are all ridiculous, man. You're all ridiculous. The back of your head looks ridiculous. Oh, man. I need more Mishra in my life. But this deck is just everything I want a deck to be. I hate playing against it, but oh boy, do I love playing with it. It's just mm, spicy. That was a spicy meatball. A spicy meatball? A spicy speedball. I, I just, like, my mouth did things that I did not want to do, you know? We're going first. We have a nice hand here. Even though we can't have a turn one make disappear. Well, our opponent's turn one. Or turn two, but we're still all right. Hello, hello, friendly waver of the hand. Hello. So, uh, we're of course going with the uh, Fable of the Mirror Breaker here. I mean, what are they supposed to do? Counter it? <laughs> destroy my Fable little goblin? Go ahead, destroy it. Thank you for the card draw, I appreciate it. I really do. The Reckoner Bank. Are you a control deck? <laughs> are you by any chance a control deck? So we're getting rid of one Sheldred here. We have more Sheldreds where this came from. 
And uh, I will be going with the Corpse Appraiser. I mean, I have no way to ever get this Sheldrick back. Um, so it does not really matter. Hmm. Decisions to be made. <laughs> I think I'm going with the Storm Carved Coast here. Uh, I do have enough black sources, and I want a land that I can use right away. Right away. So they're drawing here. Beautiful, I like it. Or they're bringing down a Wandering Emperor. There's also a chance of that happening. So we have all the Corpse Appraisers now. I uh, will be attacking in and counterspell their Wandering Emperor here. Oh, they're not even doing it. Okay, beautiful. So we're bringing down the Fable of the Mirror Breaker anyways. They're just going with the card draw. But whatever they do, we do have counter spellage. So we're kind of happy, you know, with our life here. All right, removing a card, or uh, drawing a card, it's all right. So they do have something. I don't like what they might have, but they do have something. Yeah, ain't gonna happen, my friend. Ain't gonna freaking happen. So, do we win here? Is the only question that I have. Do we freaking a win here? I want the treasure. So I'm getting in it for seven, getting the treasure, and uh, we will see what we're doing here next, you know? It's still okay. We're getting in there for ten. I don't want to run into too much trouble here, and this is enough to beat them already. The Might Stone and the Weak Stone. What are you might stone weak stoning though? This makes sense. Would have done the same. And that is it, the drawing. Okay, we're also drawing. Maybe we can even find my big serpent. I mean, the big serpent. A corpse appraiser. Not really useful against this kind of deck, but I'll take it. My turn. So, I don't need this. And they scoop! And they just scoop, you know? And we're back in the top 700, so close to the 69! No! I know you couldn't feel my serpent this time. Oh, that came out very wrong. I... I apologize. We're 5 to freaking all right now. I love it! And we're... Did we get a rank? Just... <laughs> this ranking is so weird. Opponent's going first. If we can draw one land, we're good. One singular land, we're good. We finally have the Mishra Dragon Engine, and we're up against Mono Red. We lose. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, we even found, like, a creature to work out with here. That is good. That is real good. I still feel like we have a bad chance here at winning, you know? Uh, what are you doing, my friend? I will be going with the Blood Tide Harvester. It's, like, the better way to draw cards here, you know? Just a better way. And if they don't have an answer right away, we're kind of fine with it. Very fine with it. The Reckless Impulse. That might not be an answer. Nope. All right. I will be blocking this Monastery Swift Spare one bajillion freaking percentiles. I just need to find one more land and I'm good. No matter what color. No matter what land. I'm freaking fine. Yeah, I think that this is the right call. Did not find the land. We could still find it like this, you know? Getting rid of one bank buster. And then we can still play a bank buster. Beautiful. Just beautiful. So next turn we bring down the corpse appraiser. And uh, dig for more lands. We absolutely... Greedy. Greedy, my friend. You just lost a lot of cards here. You just lost a lot of freaking cards here. Uh, corpse appraiser. You're up. Yes, I know. I need to give up some life for that. But that is absolutely worth it. So, we need to find some more land. Another corpse appraiser. Now I'm going with the land. I'm going with the land. I, I don't want to be greedy like Sui Yun does. I don't want him. And we can still block here. Everything is bueno. Or they just scoop. Because they made some wrong freaking decisions. They should have just played what they had. Oh, my friends. I will appraise all of your corpses once I'm done with you. The Undertaker will take you to the grave. 
I wish I could roll up my eyes now, so just imagine I did. Undertaker. You won't believe what just happened. So my girlfriend came home. She was complaining about all the robots standing around. And I said, you know what? I'm going to open a pack. So real quick, let's go to this camera real quick. This is what I opened, man. Can you please, camera, can you show it? Can you show it? It's a Quicksilver amulet. 11 out of 500. This is a $500 at least card, man. And I'm in shock. I'm in disbelief that I found this card. All right, we're up against Mono Red going first. That is always disgusting. But what are we supposed to do about it? Uh, we do have to make this appear, but they will be bringing down like a uh, swift spare. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, all right, all right. Oh, two of them. Yeah, why not? Why the freaking heck not? Okay, so at least we do have to make this appear here. And we can, you know, make something disappear that we don't like. Maybe another creature. Or this. That is absolutely not okay, game. Absolutely not okay. So, we still might have a small insignificant chance here. The smallest of all chances, you know? If we draw, draw something here, we're good. If we don't, we're just screwed for life. Is what I'm saying here. Screwed for life. So, do you have another mechanized warfare? I would not be surprised in the slightest. Nope, they just have to play with fire. Good game. I mean, we're dead here. That is seven damage to the face. They have another shock. And we're done, so. And we're freaking a donezo, my friends. Freaking donezo. The only thing that can save us here... Slightly. Nope. Nothing of this can freaking save us. But we can still dig. But we won't find anything. So yeah. We had no chance of winning this game. I got one of the most... Price... Fullest cards that I... Did I just lose 260 ranks for it? Game. I lost one single game against the top 240 and I'm losing over 250 ranks. That is ridiculous. Get out of here. Losing that much rank for one game is absolutely ludicrously ridiculous, man. How is a person ever supposed to rank like this? Kimmer, Kimmer. If at least I would get 250 ranks for, you know. Oh, it's Xander's Lounge on Xander's Lounge. Violence. Alrighty. So let us see who has the better hand. Let us just see who has the better freaking hand. We do. We do. We do. Go ahead. Inferno grasp that. That is no concern of mine. I will just keep up my counter spellage now. Phyrex and Flash George. Interesting. So, I will be getting rid of these two lands. Or, well, you know, these two lands. That is absolutely alright. The Mishra now. Okay. I will be going with another Fable of the Mirror Breaker here, though. Like, this Phyrex and Flash George is okay, but, you know, we need to protect our Mishra. The Sheldred now even, okay. So they uh, they are going a little bit stronger than we are. Just slightly, you know, just freaking slightly. Uh, I can get rid of these two lands here. And now we can play our own Sheldred. Beautiful. Freaking beautiful. So first of all, I will be attacking him with you here. That is fine. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. And now we're doing this. Okay. So, now we have Sheldred on Sheldred Vine. I don't know why I don't have the art style. I just forgot to pull it, you know, into the deck. I just realized now. Now that I've seen their Phyrex in art style. I realized that I missed this chance. Okay. Yeah, you're not doing that. You're absolutely not freaking doing it. <laughs> Who do you think you are, man? Who do you think you are? doing that. Yeah. Tough luck, buttercup. Okay. So we do have the Invoke Despair. Uh, we have the Infernal Grasp here, which is absolutely amazing. So let's go all freaking in. We're going all in. If they have another Invoke Despair, so be it, man. So freaking be it. But we're now the all-in machine. Told ya. Told ya. They can't take it anymore. We're going all freaking in. Well, we at least got the rank back. Oh, we're one away from the 666. Because if you're 555, five, five, 
Then I'm six, six, seven. We're up against Crest the Ranger. Are you cresting the Ranger or is the Ranger the Crest? We're going first. I like this hand. I really freaking do. So we only lost one game up until now. Against Mono Red going first. That was terrible. Terrible. And it was right after my little short break of 10 minutes taking a... I don't even get another coffee. No, I just talked to my girlfriend and opened the pack. I must say, I also called a friend right away to know what is up with the pack. If I can, you know, get something for this. And I do. I can get a lot for this. Nice. Thanks. Appreciate it. Really freaking do appreciate it. So we go with the Bloodhide Harvester here. Next turn we can still uh, play the Xander's Lounge and keep up some counter spellage. Which is pretty good. We're just slamming in for 3 damage every turn now, you know? Every single turn now. I like that. You know what? They don't have anything here. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought, cresting the ranger. Ranger crest. So, what are you doing? Nothing. I like that. I really do like that. So we missed a land drop. Yes. Terrible. But what are we supposed to do? At least we can, you know, counterspell something here. That is still alright. All the life we took from them is back now. Are you playing my deck? I'm pretty certain that they are playing my freaking deck. Alright, now we're drawing a card. They're using this possibility to... Oh, there's a land now. Beautiful. I love that for myself. I really do freaking love that. We're still slamming in there. Still keeping up our card draw, our counter spells. Watch him just play another one. Oh, it's not my deck. Okay. Alright, gain all the life you want, my friend. Sooner or later, I will be there to punish you. Yeah... Kinda to be expected that they're like, you know, just a reanimator deck. Refines in Foreman. That is refine with me. I mean, all we've got to do is to counter their stuff and then we're good, you know? Drawing here. Another Blood Tide Harvester is amazing. We can't even freaking play it. Not spray it. Um, I'd rather have the card draw open. I will be slamming in. Like, if they want to block this, that is fine. We have to get in for the damage, you know. And, uh, yeah. As soon as we draw lands, we're good. But we do have the counter spellage now forever and ever. Like, look at this. Look at it. So now we even have the little t pilot here. And we can do even more shenaniganery. Well, I would like to have drawn a land here as well. I'm not gonna lie about that. There is the land now. Are we going with the Sheldred? Yes, as long as we do have one counter spell, we're good. If they do have a counter spell here, so be it. The Union of the Third Path ain't no counter spell. Ain't no freaking counter spell. But we do have it, and we're still slamming in there for a lot of freaking damage. All right, so now we have all the counter spells in the known universe, all of them. They're drawing, they're losing life, and they're now finally to 16. Oh my lord. So, repair and recharge coming up. One repair and recharge. Nope. Not gonna happen. Let's give him a stupid little grin here. <laughs> I mean, hey, you know, there's a reason we have all these counter spells in this deck. There is a freaking reason, man. Um, let's get in there for as much damage as we can. That is still 10 damage coming their way, you know, just easy peasy lemon squeezy. And I'm keeping up all of my counter spells. All of them. There's literally no reason to do anything. Just slappity slap, my friend. Slappity freaking slap. There was no Mishra, there was nothing. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, we're still winning so many games. So many games. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ain't gonna happen. And they scoop! Repair and recharge these... I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I was just excited. So we're nine games in. This is game number 10. Game number 10. I like this hand. We finally got some new cards, you know? And I like having the new cards. Hey, we're up against Mono Red. Okay. <laughs> All right. It will just be a repeat of before. But at least this time we do have answers, you know? That is already pretty darn good. So depending on what they do here, 
They're afraid of a cut down. They really are. Yep, they're just playing with fire. That is all right. I appreciate that. Thank you very much, game. Um, I will just keep up my infernal grasp here. They did not even have a land. Maybe they screwed themselves with the hard fog. There's another Kumano. Well, I'd rather get rid of this now, you know? Rather do this. So, now I will be playing the Reckoner Bank Buster, and next turn I will the turn afterwards, I will have the Mishra. And then I think we can turn this game around in our favor real quick by attacking in and gaining life back. They still don't have a land. They really kept the one lander. Hard fog. You just hard fogged yourself is what I'm saying. Just hard fogged yourself. I will be attacking in. This one life is better than anything they can do, you know? Shoot my face. Go ahead. Shoot it. Shoot my face. My beautiful, beautiful face. Also, I appreciate how apart from um, nothing, we have drawn only lands up until now. Yeah, I don't think we have drawn a single non-land. Or did we draw? No, we had all of these. This was our starting hand. And then we got all of this. Beautiful. Freaking beautiful. Yeah, all right. <laughs> did you find your land now? They finally did. Nice. <laughs> I'm sorry. But this is just too good. This is just too freaking good, man. The burn down the house is so amazing here. Because, you know, we're still draining them for so much now. And next turn, we bring down my big blade coiled serpent to the battlefield. Oh, the warmth of the blade coiled serpent. Okay, yeah, shoot my face. That is all right. I will still freaking get in here for a lot of freaking damage, you know. And a lot of freaking life drain. And that is the most important part. That I'm gaining all of this life back. Oh, life is life, my friend. And it's not yours. It is not yours. You kept the one lander. A one lander. For what? For two Kumano faces, Kakazan? Oh, no, my friend. Oh, that ain't it. That just ain't it. Are you roping me now? Are you freaking roping me now? No, they go with the lightning strike here. Okay. All right. I I mean, hey, I will still give him the slappity slap, you know, because next turn, my big old snakes comes down. And then what? And then what? Exactly. I will go with only red, man. Only red. Only red. 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 Another red. Why? Because I want to make him feel bad for playing red. You know? Just make him feel real bad for playing red. Oh, yes, that's right. That is right, man. 9 to 1. Oh, this deck is insanity, man. Freaking insanity. Nobody could stand in the way of my big serpent. It just slammed down onto your face. Get swaffled, my friend. Get swaffled. I told you that the deck is just pure old ridiculousness. Where is the thing? Chop, chop, thing. Thank you very much. Okay, so the deck is pure freaking ridiculousness. I mean, hey, we have won games so much that I don't even remember what rank we was because I recorded today again and I, oh my lord, I will be talking about it tomorrow, but I lost so many games. It was painful, my friends. Painful. I was in the top of the rankings. And now I'm just a nobody again. <laughs> nobody. <laughs> but yeah, it happens. You know, when you're a content creator, you're trying different decks, you try different things, and sometimes you just lose a lot with a deck, and then you just stomp it, smash it, don't even use it anymore. It is just what it is. And that also happens if you're not a content creator. So yeah, but today went very well, and that is all that freaking matters to me. Nothing else freaking matters. So thank you all so very much. If you are still here, please put a little Malone appraiser down below in the comments because I want you all to appraise how well this deck works against everything there is. And my lord Mishra, we sadly could not meld you, but you were sure a very, very crazy freaking card to win us the game so many times. So please, my friends, if you are still here, first of all, thank you very much. And also, I want you to remember... And if you are waking up tomorrow morning and you see the beautiful, beautiful face of yours in the mirror, that all of you are pretty freaking sweet. 
I'm Matches Malone, and I will see you all tomorrow.